Hi, I'm Alicia Fogden. And I'm Quinton McCallum. And we're here to take stock of what's in this week's stock journal. Plans to reopen the former Ingham's turkey processing facility at McLaren Vale are now not going ahead after the factory was stripped of all poultry processing equipment and appropriate extra finance could not be sourced. The facility ceased operation in December 2014 with the loss of 79 jobs. But more recently, a newly formed Flurio Poultry Association were hoping to take on the project before the cost blew out up to $10 million. An assortment of big rigs took to the city streets on Tuesday when concerned truckies from across the state staged a protest convoy along North Terrace and past Parliament House. Drivers were protesting a road safety order that is set to be enforced on April 4. Drivers are concerned certain conditions of the order are unworkable and will force them out of business. Transport workers called for the order to be delayed until January 2017 in the hope that conditions will be altered. A Senate Select Committee formed to investigate possible reforms to the Murray-Darling Basin Plan tabled its final report last week, which made 31 recommendations. The main committee report supported the plan's overarching principles and acknowledged some elements of its implementation were producing positive economic, social and environmental outcomes. However, the group, chaired by New South Wales Senator David Leidenhelm, were concerned some of the elements of the plan were also having negative impacts on the basin communities. You can read all about the fallout in our news section this week. Lucendale livestock agent Ronnie Dix has won the National Young Auctioneers Competition at the Sydney Royal Easter Show on Thursday. Eight competitors from across the country sold three lots in front of an excited crowd and were judged by a panel of respected auctioneers on diction, values, voice and manner, as well as their presence and unique style. Dix will go on to represent Australia in the international competition at the Calgary Stampede in Canada later this year.